welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be making some dark chocolate brownies i have about a cup and a half of dark cocoa um in my bowl and i've added a cup or two sticks of melted butter to that i'm going to get that blended as best that i can and then i'm going to move on to my next step so now that i've gotten this all nice and blended i'm going to add in a a tablespoon of salt I'm using kosher salt. I'm going to add in um, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour and two and a half cups of white sugar, three teaspoons of pure vanilla or imitation vanilla, whatever you want to use. And then I'm going to get that all blended. Oh, and I will be adding in three whole eggs. Um, so that is where all of my moisture is coming from for this portion. Um, so that's three whole eggs, a tablespoon of kosher salt, three teaspoons of vanilla, a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a cup and a half of the dark cocoa, two and a half cups of um, white sugar, um, and so that's going to get all blended or mixed in. And y'all, I'm not going to keep on mixing with this fork. I do have a, a mixer. I have a hand mixer. I have a stand mixer. And I have a, a, a you know, a whisk. Um, I don't know why I decided to use this fork, but I do use, come to my senses and switch out. So now that that's all blended, as you can see, I'm going to add about a half a cup of um, mixed espresso. Um, the espresso that I use is the El De Grado, I think that's how it's pronounced. It comes in a glass container, a glass um, jar with green labeling on it. I love it, but I'm just going to mix that in to my um, mixture. I have my oven preset to 350 and I'm going to be um, using an 11 by 9 um, aluminum pan. Now this is just to fill that pan. I have a family of seven. Um, so this recipe can easily be broken into halves where the um, cup and a half measurements are broken to um, three quarters cup. And so forth and so on. Instead of um, three eggs, you can use two. I just use the extra um, just for that almost um, cakey like texture. But my coffee is nice and blended in. I'm sorry, my espresso is nice and blended in. And I have a greased 11 by 9 inch aluminum pan that I'm going to be using, like I said before. And this is the consistency you want for your brownie mix. So here's my pan that's been greased um, with a butter flavored spray. And I'm going to get my brownie mixed in. Now this dark chocolate brownie mix um, that I'm doing here, it tastes like Oreos. That, that whole... Um, th that taste of the Oreos is what this brownie tastes like. Um, if you don't like Oreos, this is not for you, but if you do like a good Oreo, um, this is perfect. You can also, um, use the same ingredients. Um, you change out ingredients, I'm sorry, and, um, do it as a vegan. Take out the sugar and the egg, um, and make it vegan. Um, but this is a really, really good recipe. So, like I said, I'm going to throw this in the oven. I have that preset at 350. I'm going to bake this for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to let it set for another 30 minutes so that the inside solidifies and doesn't, um, you know, kind of gush out all around it. I want a gooey brownie, not a cakey brownie. But I don't want it to be like dough in the center. I don't want it to be like molten in the center so let's put that in the oven and show you what it looks like when it's done 
So after 30 minutes, here's my dark chocolate brownies. Mm. So I got my slice. I'm going to top it with some candy walnuts, a little whipped cream, and a little salted caramel. Probably a little bit more whipped cream. And yeah, that's just how I like mine. So thanks for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and look forward to another video like this. Thanks for watching.